you did a respectful video to me, so I will do a respectful video to you. First, and I mean this with all due respect, I don't think you made any real points in this video. The points that you made are points that are opinions. The simple fact that is hate crime laws in this nation work. Okay? Your whole concept of, oh, we should add a penalty on top, you know, it's not, you know, it doesn't make sense to add a penalty on top of a penalty. I'm sorry. I don't think you realize that hate crime laws protect you as well as me. Not just people that we don't know. Okay, let me give you examples. You're military, right? Do you know that there, if someone attacks you because you're military, there are special penalties for attacking you because you're military? You know the skin color. We both have the same skin color. Okay? If somebody attacked us because we were white, guess what? That would be based on race. All this, li this law is doing is adding three groups. Okay, and guess what? The first one, sexual identity, protects you as well as me. Okay? Now, you may not think that it has any be anything real, you know, beyond, you know, it's, oh, why, why are we adding it, blah, blah, blah. How do you can tell it's a hate crime? Local law enforcement is screaming for the federal government's help to process the amount of hate crimes that are being committed on a daily basis in this country. Okay? Gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender people are being assaulted and killed on a regular basis in this country for nothing more than being who they are. And guess what? This law also protects people who are handicapped. Do you want to not protect the handicapped for, you know, if people want to go and attack somebody who's handicapped and say, you know, no, just regular penalty. No, nothing special for you. The purpose of these laws are to try to make people realize that it is not okay to hate somebody based on these minor differences. It's not okay. And, and I, I can understand, you, you know, your thinking, but that's not a reason to make it not an actual law. That's an opinion which most law enforcement disagrees with. Anybody who says that this has any other effect than, than adding stiffer penalties to motivated crimes has no idea what they're talking about. Hate, we already have a federal hate crime statute which includes race, sexual um, uh, sex. If you know, someone attacks you because you're, you know, you're a man, you're a man. You know your religion, your ethnic, you know, ethnic status. I mean, there's there's a list, and all this law is trying to do is add three more: sexual identity, sexual orientation, and disability. That's it. That's all it is. They tried to say, oh, they threw a red herring out saying, you know, or a straw man out saying, oh, it's not going to protect the military. Why can't we get into the military? It's already in law. And, and when you brought up Don't Ask, Don't Tell, I, I'm, actually, I'm actually kind of encouraged by your statement, even though I do feel that you don't fully understand the issue. This concept of military readiness and gays and lesbians, it doesn't make any sense, because if you look at the other other Western countries, 
that have gay and lesbian, lesbian soldiers, there's no problems. And the reason is, is because you're professionals. You're the best of the best. You're out there on the front line defending our freedoms. And gay people are going to screw that up. How? It doesn't make any sense. When we had forced integration, there was really not many problems. Why? Because they said, do it. Now, behind the scenes, there was tons of issues. I, I'm still, I'm not going to pretend that it was all, you know, peaches and cream. But when the president came down and said there would be black troops, you know, this idea of having black troops and white troops and Asian troops, and that's bullshit. Everybody's in the same army. Everybody's in the same Air Force. Everybody's in the same Marines. So you're going to be in one unit. That's it. Guess what? It took a couple years, many years, but everybody got over it. It's exactly what's going to happen with, with gays in the military. Right now, there's gays opening, serving openly in the military that... You know, the only th reason they're still there is because somebody hasn't put hasn't put them in for don't ask, don't tell. All they have to do is say, stop. Stop prosecuting. And guess what? You're going to get a flood of American patriots who are going to come in and serve. Oh, well, we will get, you know, you know some people will come in the military. Well, then that's their loss. I respect you for, for the you know for your opinion about that. But I don't see, and I, again, without using religion, there is no reason to not allow equal rights for gays, lesbians, transgender, you know, gays, lesbians, bisexuals, and transgenders all across this nation. I would love somebody to give me a secular reason why, but no one has ever been able to do it. And unfortunately, whether you like it or not, we're in a country that is a secular nation. This thing called the lemon test is designed for one reason. It says any government action has to have a secular purpose, even if it has a religious purpose. In religious context, there has to be a secular purpose. My friend, I think if we keep talking, eventually you'll start to come to the realization that you're opposing, you know, you know, of of hate crimes and of equal rights. It is really senseless. It, it's really pointless, and. I think that the more people hear the truth about the, the issue, the more people will come to the realization that there's no reason beyond faith while, why I can't live the life that I want to live with a person, you know, with a person that I want to live with, regardless if it's a man or a woman. And I don't have to worry about being kicked out of my home or losing my job. Okay, because right now those things are still very, very real things in the state I live in. So that's where my, you know, where my thoughts are. I know you're off to do you know do do some training. So when you get back, you know I'd love to continue our conversation.